talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you nut. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! Today is New Year's Eve. I just broke my personal best crappie of 2019 two days ago. But today my goal is to beat that again and I want to get a bass that weighs at least six pounds which would make it my personal best of the year this is the only place we could really go do due to getting three quarters of an inch of rain the day before yesterday so we are on our second day of bluebird skies it is the best fishing day and with the moon and water sign we have west winds it is 47 degrees. Everything is in our favor to be a good day with the wind direction and the moon sign, but it, there has not been three days of stable weather. This is only the second day. But we still should be able to catch a few, and I would prefer it be cloudy instead of bluebird, but we're gonna see what we can get on today, guys. I got four different poles rigged up. I have a half ounce spinner bait, a crank bait, a bobby garland, and a swim bait. And I'm just going to take turns throwing all of them. I also got red wigglers because I want to see if the bluegill and red ears are bigger during the winter in here. Because typically in farm ponds and stuff like that, they do tend to be bigger during the winter months. Oh, there we go. Oh man, it's big. It's a big bass, guys. Third cast on the spinner bait. It's a, at least a three or four pounder. Oh yeah. He was in them dang lily pads in two feet of water, guys. Two feet of water in almost January. Oh, it's a, what is that? A pickerel on a full-size spinnerbait, my very first pickerel out of this place. I've never caught a pickerel out of here and it's a big 22, 23 incher. They're in here. How hard have we tried for these in here? Yeah, oh my gosh. This is my biggest pickerel of the year, guys. Another personal best from this lake. Boy, he's barely hooked. Oh man. <laughs> That's a giant pickerel, guys. Oh, but I mean barely. He might fall off when I pick him up if I don't. Oh my God. I think that's my biggest pickerel ever. Wow. That thing's 23 or 24 inches. <laughs> Guys. It's really fat. I thought that was a bass all the way till I seen him. Because how hard he was fighting. Pickerel usually do a uh, torpedo jump. We're going to have to get them tape measure out. He's definitely my... That is my biggest pickerel ever, guys. Oh, really oh my God. Wow. Guys, that's got to be 23 or 24 inches. And it's real big and fat. It's a pre-spawn. Because they, they're getting ready to spawn around here in about a month. <laughs> a little a month and a half. God. Thing's huge, isn't it? <coughs> well... Are you glad you came now? <laughs> if I <cut> like that. <laughs> 23 inches. That's your biggest. 23. Yep, by half an inch. 
All right, you're gonna have to get the camera off my head here, and you zoom in accordingly. I'm gonna get good because I want to get good pictures of him. I wanna get this one first. Wait a minute. Oh, I got a really big fish. God. I started thinking it was a gar for a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> we was just talking about this. Me and Will said I don't understand how there's no pickerel in here because. It's connected to the black river. Guys. God, it's really it's crooked. Good. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is my personal best pickerel by a half an inch. Been fishing for them for about four years now. I've caught a lot of 22s, and I caught a couple of 22 and a half. This is a full 23, and it's a big old pot belly pregnant, or a pre spawn female <laughs> pick, chain pickerel. 23 inches. Personal best pickerel. I just. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh well. We got good. Did you zoom it all? Yeah. Okay. Oh. At least we, it happened after we got. <coughs> 23 inches. Gosh. We already. Did, we already. Get, it already made the trip worth it right there. Just one fish. Yeah. Did you see how hard he fought? It didn't fight like a normal picker. It never jumped. Not one time. But he kept pulling really hard. <clears throat> All right, folks. I caught him on a Fluger President reel with 10-pound P-line fluorocarbon coated line and a half ounce booyah white spinner bait on the third cast already did that good a personal best I've been trying to beat that for years I could never seem to get over 22 inches and I was just talking with a friend because the lake you see me catch all the pickerel in from two years ago is right across the street from this place and it's flooded by the same river and this is the only pickerel I've ever caught out of here. Very odd. I was just sitting there telling him I don't understand how they're not in there because it's the same, they come from the same place it should have them and finally I get one. This crankbait looks like. It's pretty cool looking. Pink and purple. All right, guys, I'm ready to try this flicker shad. It's pink, purple, and white. Pink bottom, and it's actually glow. It glows in the dark, which is unnecessary, but I'm just seeing if I can get anything on this thing. <clears throat> just to try something new. Got him. All right, guys, second fish. Don't know what it is yet. No idea. Looks like a largemouth. Not a bad one. Not a two. <clears throat> Once again on the white booyah. All right. No, he's about a one. <laughs> but it is a fish. I actually just missed a bass because I didn't have my camera on. I hooked him and I tried to turn the camera on while fishing. Don't ever do that. You will lose your fish every time. I just learned my lesson for about the tenth time the hard way. <laughs> That's a nice little spinnerbait bass. Yeah, he is about a pound and a half. It's a pretty nice one. These bass in here are so colorful in the winter time compared to the summer. In the summertime, they're just all green and they don't really have many distinctive black on them. It's a nice little bass. Huh? What? No, it's okay. When I get a bigger one, yeah. <clears throat> After two hours without a single fish, I finally got another bass on the spinner bait. But it is almost evening time, so they may have an evening bite going on. I'm hoping. All three fish I've caught have been on the white spinner bait, and nothing else has worked. I've thrown everything I have with me. And that's the four poles pre-rigged up not a single thing on the other one she had a one or two on a crankbait that fell off but all right he's about a pound 
Not bad. That's my third fish. Two bass in my personal best pickerel. They have been very slow today. I think it's because all the rain we had the day before yesterday was three quarters of an inch. Got one? Yeah. You, all right, doubles. Maybe all the fish are down here. That's Wilma's first fish of the day, guys. She's been struggling. Not that I haven't, but I, I caught three to her none there for a minute. She finally got one right after me. <laughs> Got one? Yeah, you do. No, it was that branch. There's a branch back there. That's all you, he was on that branch. That's where I had the big one on that spinner bait earlier though. There he is, crappie. What do I tell you? Tough it out, there'll be biting in the evening. We didn't get a single crappie all day, guys, until the evening. Finally, it's 3.35, they just started biting because the sun's not overhead. He's a baby, a little five-incher. But it was the very first cast when I got back to where I knew they would be sitting at. So, there may be hope now. Maybe they're going to be hitting. I just had one. You might want to use the Bobby Garland now. There he is. Big one this time. All right. Bigger. And you let it fall five seconds. One, two, three, four, five before you even start reeling it in. And you've got to reel it in really slow. Try not to splash so much when you cast. All right, guys. This was a black. The last one was a white. Both have snail larvae on their fins. Alright guys, I got bass number three or four, I think it's three, on the electric chicken Bobby Garland with an orange and yellow jig head. Trying for crappie here at the end of the day. And uh, boy, I thought it was a big slab because it, it pounded it and figured it was a crappie until about halfway in I could tell it wasn't. 11 and 10, 11 inches.